What's up guys, it's B-Sides here from Icon Collective and today I'm going to show you how I like to program drums using just a mouse uh, in Ableton Live 9 and we're going to use the grid change commands to make it a little bit easier and show you a couple little tricks along the way. So let's go ahead and look at the session here. Uh, right in here I've pulled up a drum rack preset. We could have loaded an empty one here and just loaded in our samples as we like, but I have one set up here. A lot of kind of basic sounds that I use a lot. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and select an area of the arrangement window. I'm going to go Shift Command M to insert a MIDI clip. And double click that and that's going to open up the piano roll. Uh, I like to resize it up kind of big to look at the whole thing. You can switch back between the two screens by hitting Shift and Tab. But here we have a full piano roll here and when you've loaded samples into the drum rack, it's going to show you all the names on the side. If I click this little headphone button here, I can hear them as I click on them, which ones I'm going to do. So, piano roll, basic grid, uh, we're going to work in double time, so I know that like the snares or the claps are basically going to hit on the 0.3 section. And the key point here is a couple things. You can use the uh, B button on your keyboard to switch between the pencil tool and the arrow tool. You can do the same thing with either one, but with the arrow tool you have to double click to uh, delete it. And with the pencil tool, I can just put it in a bunch of notes really easily. And then the other thing is this right down here. And this is showing you what my grid is set to right now. Right now it's set to 1 8th quantization. So that's useful because it's kind of a more broad Thing if I don't want to get too intricate with the drum programming thing, just where a snare or a clap's going to be. You can mouse them in pretty easily. On the bottom here is the velocity. So if you have the velocity on the drum rack set, which is right here in your drum thing, uh, the higher the level on there, the harder it's going to hit the sample. So this is at 1 8th quantization. Let's go ahead and put a hi-hat in here. Now let's say I want to program that more intricately. If I zoom in, we're on adaptive grid right now. So as you can see, that quantization level is going to change as I zoom in. So that's OK. But we can also use the command 1 and command 2 command uh, functions to get a little bit finer quantization rate. As you can see, it's only letting me go to 116. That's because I need to change it to fixed grid, which is command 5. So from here. I can go right into 32 grid, and with fixed grid, no matter how much I zoom in, it's going to stay at the quantization level that I have it set with those commands. So I can draw in more intricate little programs. You can even go to 64. And do a bunch of stuff to your leisure. Uh, you can also use the command 3 to go to triplet grid which can be interesting for throwing some little rhythmic variations at the end of phrases. And then I'm going to go back out to just 1 8th grid to put in my kicks. Oh, so now that they're in the piano roll here, I can also move the notes around using my arrow keys, which is really useful. I could change sounds by going up and down, or actually move it to the grid using the left and right keys. Another thing I could do is select all the notes and do Command 4, and that will turn the grid off. So I can really move notes around at a small level. To create my own little like kind of groove or swing, if I want to push individual elements a little bit further or not, I can choose to do that. I can turn the grid back on. And just I can switch on the fly to different quantization levels and kind of do more finer edits like that.
That's the basics of kind of programming drums using the piano roll. I find it a really useful way to get stuff in here quick. Uh, even if you like using a MIDI controller to actually play them in yourself. I think you'll find doing little fine edits and moving the notes around and putting things off grid is a cool way to add some rhythmic variations to your drums. So that's the basics of kind of using the piano roll in Ableton to program drums. Uh, even if you like padding it in with your MIDI controller yourself, I think the uh, arrow key commands, moving notes around on and off the grid, and using the grid commands to make precise edits can be a really useful way to add some rhythmic variation to your patterns. So I hope that helps, uh, and thanks for watching. Yeah.